B. Do you copy? Where's B and Maz? Does anybody know what's going on? What's going on? We're under attack by our men. Anyway, gear up and begin the course. B's gonna be watching. Get outside. We don't want to miss this. Day 1, September 20, 2011. Political instability is dramatically increasing in Russia. Looks like people missed the good old Soviet days and they beg for its return. It is time to take control. As currently the strongest general in Russia, I will appear as the people's last hope to bring ballots back to the motherland. They will welcome my coup with open arms. The government will fall like a house of cards within one night. The communist spirit is still burning strong in people's hearts, exactly as I have predicted. They have to miss freedom in order to appreciate it, which is exactly what I need. Day 2, September 21, 2011. Russian people begin to riot all over the motherland. Chaos will soon spread, and only I can stop it by initiating the coup. It won't take long until our corrupt government realizes that they are finished. All armed forces will be mobilized at once, establishing my martial law. We will revive the Soviet spirit in every Russian citizen. They will follow me blindly like sheep, as they are thirsty for a strong and confident leader. They are sick of coward leaders who bow to the demands of the West. Contact, take cover! Alex, stay with me! Watch your fire! Day 3, September 22nd, 2011. The coup has begun. Everything is going as planned. People in the streets shout, Glory to Russia! I offer to bring back the stability and equality of the communist Russia that people craved for so long has finally been acknowledged. Everybody is cheering alongside my soldiers, and they all celebrate the dawn of a new age for Russia. The Soviet Union will once again live to see the world burn beneath its feet. This time, with me in charge. I should find an ID before talking to enemies. C, 
Kill General Romanov may seem too unorthodox sometimes, but let me tell you, he really loves Russia. We'll hold here. Take position by the roadblock. Day 6, September 25, 2011. We managed to track down and capture all of the traitor politicians, except one. They all shake like cowards, knowing my lust for revenge after they betrayed me. They finally realized that I was the one who they should have trusted, and not their western allies, whose time will also come very soon. All traitors will be executed for their treachery. It always bothered me to see how authority works in the government. It's illogical. Cowardly politicians ordering brave and mighty generals to do their bidding. As if they know better how to conduct a battle. <laughs> That's not how it should be. It should be the strongest taking over the weaker. Survival of the fittest. Day 8, September 27, 2011. That final traitor is caught. Now all government members are dealt with, and the new Russia will soon rise under my command as Supreme General. Finally, my glory will see the light of day. Finally, my might will become known to the world and spread fear to my enemies. I will have the honor to revive the Soviet Union, and I will destroy anyone who gets in my way. Get ready to breach. Day 11, September 30, 2011. Russia is now completely under my control. But in order to restore the Soviet Union, we need to annex more countries. However, most of them are under the influence of their Western allied pigs. Soon their time will come. Today, I will initiate Operation Red Globe. My armies will establish secret military bases all over Europe. We will be right under their noses. Then I will start a new world conflict to bring chaos and destruction everywhere. And when the dust settles, I will be the last man standing to rule everything that remains. I know people will not approve of my plans, but they do not get to decide. When you rule people and threaten to take their freedom, they tend to either protest or flee. But when you threaten to take their lives, they tend to stay and obey out of terror. Thanks, Lars. Right on time. Guys, are you okay? We were right there. Hey, listen. Great work. All right, Alex, you lead the way. Let's go. Day 16. 
October 5, 2011. Everything seems to be in order. Our first two bases are successfully established in Italy and Greece. Good thing those government officials were gullible enough to believe that they'll get their share after the war. They were too easy to persuade. Pity. Their country's face will be the same as the rest of the world. Thanks to them, however, a big region in each country is now deserted with no local activity. Perfect for my undercover military operations. Both bases are heavily guarded and really hard to reach. This is the first step in our glorious conquest. Alex, stay away from the door. Day 20, October 9, 2011. Looks like there is a CIA agent in my base in Italy. If my operations there are discovered, then I will have to begin the war prematurely, speeding up the operation and risking everything I've planned for so long. At this point, the war will happen no matter what. Everything is set. The moment I learn that the enemy knows my plans, my forces will march through Europe. But the more time we have to establish these bases, the easier the victory will be. Even if this agent gave us a way, we are still prepared to win the war. But if this rat hasn't talked yet, we may still have some time to evolve before the outbreak. Flag and clear. What? Shit. It should be in the next one. Let's move. It's too quiet. I don't like this. Day 23, October 12, 2011. That CIA agent tried to ask for reinforcements, but he didn't know that we had jammers installed as soon as we discovered him. We intercepted only one transmission from him, but it appears that his signal wasn't strong enough to reach any significant enemy base. Probably nothing to really worry about. He must be captured as soon as possible. We will make him think that we moved out of the village. He will sneak out and try to escape. Once he exposes himself, we will catch him by surprise and capture him. After that, he must be interrogated so we can find out what he knows and execute him. However, it seems there is one more rat hiding in the outskirts. It's probably a local who somehow managed to stay in the village after the evacuation. I can't be too sure yet. We will investigate both cases with extreme haste. This one's clear too. No, this is wrong. Close. How many violets are left? There's one more passenger wagon. Go, take position by the crates. Stay on the right flank. Left is surrounded. Push to the right side only. Stay together. Day 24, October 13, 2011. 
The situation is critical. It feels like Cold War all over again. We killed the CIA agent, but his transmission was received from a nearby SAS task force who we just caught sneaking around in the village. Three of them are now in custody, and we're investigating for more. But that's not our only problem. The only thing we got out of the agent before killing him was that there is indeed another spy in the area. Just as I suspected. We now have no idea who and where that spy is, so we are in total lockdown. My forces will search every inch of the town to find that spy and any other SAS troops in the area. Once captured, they will either tell me everything they know, or they will die in agony. Day 25, October 14, 2011. When you choose your men, you must choose them wisely. Today I was extremely disappointed with my men, and especially Major Misha. That fool who I put in charge without predicting his incompetence. These SAS troops escaped and somehow managed to take out all of our forces in Italy. Six men against hundreds. I thought that leaving Major Misha back in charge would be enough to stop them. That idiot proved to be so useless that he even let them reach him. But they will never reach me, and they know nothing yet. We will monitor the transmissions and see if they report anything. If they do, they will force me to start the war prematurely. I will keep my eye on them, do some research. Find out who they are and what their story is. And if they make a move, I will be there. And I will be waiting. Look at this place. So many preparations that people can suffer. Day 47, November 5, 2011. Captain Steve Mallory, also known as Speed. XMI-6, really noble to ideals like justice, peace, freedom, and all that bullshit. That is the man behind that SAS team who killed my whole army in Italy. What surprises me is that they haven't reported anything yet. It's been almost three weeks, and there's no sign of any transmission coming from them. What's keeping them? What are they waiting for? They want to be heroes. They are preparing to fight me. Fight for... Freedom. Captain Mallory, I will be waiting for you. And I will be ready. I know you are coming. And I know your darkest fears. Prove to me you are a worthy opponent. And I might just let you live to witness the glory of my dominance. Let the strongest man survive. 